So in the next homework assignment, you're going to be working on learning how to integrate powers of trigonometric functions. So this first video is just to go over the key concepts and tools that you'll need in order to integrate trigonometric uh, integrals that have powers of trigonometric functions. And uh, what we'll do in subsequent videos then is apply each of these key tools that we're going to show in this video. So for the next homework, we're going to be looking at integrating uh, integrals that have one of two forms. We're either going to have the sine to the nth power times cosine to the nth power, where m and n are going to be uh, usually non-negative integers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and the like integers. Or we're going to work on integrating integrals that have the form secant to the nth power times tangent to the nth power dx, where m and n are still going to be non-negative integers. And we have three big tools that we're going to use when we're integrating these types of integrals. We're going to need to use the Pythagorean identity from trigonometry, and we'll need to employ the power reduction uh, identities from trigonometry. So these will be the three uh, big hammers that we use along the way. And then there's going to be a sequence of guidelines for these integrals. So when we're working with integrals that have the form sine to the m times cosine to the n, there's going to be three different uh, possibilities or situations we find ourselves in. And what we do depends on the situation. So what you should do now is pause the video write down this set of guidelines, and then restart the video. The next slide, which I'm gonna to flip to now, is going to have guidelines for integrating integrals that have the form secant to the m times tangent to the n. There's gonna be five possible scenarios that we find ourselves in. And then what we'll do in subsequent videos is just apply these different, uh, these different situations and see how they play out in practice.